All right, so the Super Bowl, we all know it's coming. It's a days away, right? 49ers. What's the other team? Oh, yeah, the Ravens. The Ravens. All right, so hey, who are you for, by the I'm way? I'm for the Bears. <laughs> the Bears. I mean, a girl can hope, right? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> well, we have no horse in the race, but still, we got to eat. We got to have some fun. Rochelle Trotter's back with us yes, again. Yes, yes, yes. And we're talking about Sandwich Sunday, sandwich right? Sandwich Super Bowl yeah. Sunday. You know, uh, everyone is all upset about the hype with, oh, my God, there's going to be a chicken wing shortage. Well, forget the wings and the boring subs. Why not? <laughs> have some really interesting mini sandwiches for those big guys on the big game day. All right, so we're so, we're talking about something beyond like bologna and Swiss, yeah. right? Something, something a little more exciting. Something a little more exciting. Something and that I, you have. Um, so right here we'll start with one of my favorites. Just take pastrami or pastrami your regular pastrami yeah. sandwich, but then cut your bread into little shapes of football, oh, your rye bread like that. Nice. Um, and it has a special Thousand Island dressing on it. Susie, with a can you picky. see that? The little football thing, huh? What do you think? <laughs> Maybe you can, you can throw it across yeah, the room. Yeah, yeah. Spiral. But I, and yeah. The, 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 the important thing with sandwiches at Super Bowl is they have to be hand size and you want to keep it simple. Oh, so right. you want to have a variety of proteins. Right here we have one of my favorite pulled pork with these mm. marinated Mexican type onions that I do with oregano and orange juice and on a pretzel bun. So you want to keep it simple. Let people have something to pick up with one hand so that they can have a drink in the other hand. Good here idea. is something that I was encouraged to make. Uh, it's a rip off of something they do at a sandwich bar here in Chicago. Forget <laughs> about, you know, buffalo chicken. Why not a Caesar chicken sandwich where you put the Caesar dressing and the Parmesan inside of diced up white chicken meat. Again, with some marinated red onions and a little Caesar dressing on the top of some mm. Sara Lee dinner buns. Rochelle, you got good, it going good, good. on here. I'm telling you. And I'm in. And in, in theme of my friend Susanna from chat room, you know, Ms. Vegetarian, I made a rip on P.F. Chang's lettuce cup. So instead <laughs> of using chicken, I did tofu with um, still the rice noodles and lots of uh, different mushrooms and a really interesting sauce featuring some of my favorite, favorite new sauce from an ex-employee of uh, Chef Trotter's, Bill Kim. It's uh, Belly Bomb is the name of the sauce. Oh, you can right. find it at Whole Foods. I've heard so about that's that. the vegetarian option because you have to have something for the vegetarians in the room. And plus those folks who are worried about, worried about you know, carb intake. Absolutely. Right? That yeah. would be, that's fantastic. That's your choice. And so you want to set your table up so that you have the food on one side and the snack bar on the other uh -huh. side. And I just made this really cheap little tablecloth out of leftover felt, ribbon, and double-sided tape with some stick-on numbers to emulate like a football field. So it's really, really simple. Yeah, Pretty Corey, creative. I made it. Yeah. Here is the fun side. So if someone doesn't want a sandwich and they just want a snack, they can right. come over, they can make popcorn with these little popcorn containers. Oh. Or the fun thing is build your own taco bar. Now my niece Kayla <laughs> showed me this idea. I didn't know that it existed. She opened a bag of Doritos and she actually poured, yeah. I'm going behind you, right. some nacho cheese sauce in there. And we have some nacho cheese sauce that's melting here in the crock pot. And oh. so you would just put some nacho cheese sauce in there. Well, and um, It's kind of called a walking taco sometimes, It's a walking right? taco, yeah. Right, right. So, and then you scrape All that off right. with your fork. And I then you can use whatever, yeah. whatever you want inside of it yeah, you can put yeah. ground beef you can put shredded lettuce jalapenos whatever you would like and you have your own walking taco mm. and last but not least you can't forget your desserts because you have cupcakes and little strawberries that have been mm. made uh, into the brownies. shape of football brownies and we have a surprise guest uh -oh. with a surprise Who's sandwich here? for Who's you oh, it's Chef, Chef Trotter Chef Charlie how are you Special, special sandwich. Special sandwich <laughs> made uh, with uh, you, courtesy sir. of my friends from RL, uh, their most famous crab cake. This is an homage oh. to sourdough bread from San Francisco, crab from Baltimore, and a po' boy because it's in New Orleans. Wow, So that's the beautiful. guys at RL have the best <laughs> crab cake, and Charlie came up with this idea for you. So nice. I hope you like it. I'm going to devour it after we go to break. Fantastic. Okay. Thanks for the uh, cameo, Charlie Trotter. Rochelle, always good to see Great you. Great to see you. Fantastic. Awesome. I, I need all of this on Sunday. Can you be over about three? I'll be there. Right, I'll perfect. be there. All right, we're back in a minute. Good day, Chicago. Continues <laughs> after that. I'm going to have a big bite of this yeah. sucker. Yeah. Mm. Thanks, thanks. I